Hello viewers and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name's Ed Budd. I am a shoe fanatic. They call me the shoe whisperer. They call me the shoe guru. They call me lots of things with shoe at the start. I've got a brand new shoe today. It's unreleased. It's the Nike React Infinity Run. They're set to release this brand new shoe in 2020. I've managed to get hold of a pair in my size. Fortunately, why would I buy one that's in the wrong size? Who would do that? This one comes out on the 3rd of January for the Nike Run Club members, and I believe the 16th of January for everybody else. Managed to get my hands on a pair way before release, so let's get into it. So everything about this shoe really does scream Hoka to me. It's got that rocker, and I don't mean Bon Scott, ACDC rocker. I mean a rocker type midsole shape. It certainly seems to be aimed at that runner, looking for that Hoka style shape. Nike even used the word rocker in their very odd press release for this shoe. It's really weird actually, it doesn't really feature very much information about the shoe. So I'm going to take it upon myself to give you as much information as possible. So a new iteration of the React series, it's got apparently 24-25% extra React foam in the midsole. As you can see, it's pretty considerable there, there's a lot of foam. It's certainly reminding me of things like the Hoka Carbon X and a little bit towards the Rincon and possibly even the Asics Glide Ride. It's got a changed up midsole. There's a lot more rubber here now, quite an aggressive pattern. I think it was Kev Burmaster uh, mentioned to me, he thought it was quite an aggressive pattern here. It does. Grr. <laughs> Calm down, shoe. You're in my hands now. The shoe whisperer will take care of you. Don't worry, you have nothing to fear. So hopefully that'll improve traction, hopefully that'll improve wear, which is a bit of an issue with the original React series. There's some sweet aesthetics on this shoe, I've got to be honest, it reminds me of the sweet, musty smell of lavender. Mm. So a few stats for you very quickly, I've tried to use some of my measuring equipment, which consists of my wife's kitchen scales, and also some specially made and constructed apparatus kind of a little bit like a tape measure. I think there's roughly a nine mil drop here. It's a little tough to, to tell because always trying to measure the, the toe area here, around right about the midfoot and back here. It's a little tough. I think it's roughly a nine mil drop from heel to toe. There's some considerable more width in the midfoot section here. Certainly I feel that this one is gonna give a little bit more stability for those runners, perhaps looking for a more stability based shoe. I think they're really aiming this one at those mid-paced runs, not really tempo runs, those kind of base core miles that make up a lot of a runner's training throughout the week. They did pair this up against the structure line, the structure 22 in their marketing gump. And I think that's a bit of an odd comparison really. Uh, just feeling this shoe, um, it's much, much lighter. Uh, in feel. Yeah, no zoom air units here as per the Structure 22. It's straight up React right the way through the midsole. I really love the aesthetics of this shoe. Uh, before I go out and completely trash it on my first run in the wet, uh, in the mud, I think it's a beautiful looking shoe. I love this pink blast across the side here, complemented by the this slate grey Nike band just underneath. This one is called Platinum Tint Pink and Black Blast. What a name, that's a great name. I do love the yellow trim here around the ankle collar. Just on initial feel, the fly knit's very, very light. It's got a kind of strange feeling. The front here, I can't quite find the words to describe it. They say it's a lofted fly knit. It almost feels like, um, ah, I know, like medical micropore tape. I don't know if you guys have ever used that. When I was younger, I used to be allergic to plasters, you know, elastoplast uh, plasters. It was the adhesive stuff on them. It used to bring me out in a rash. And I used to have to use micropore tape. And it kind of feels a little bit like that to touch. So certainly a different weave in the toe box area to the fly knit at the rear of the shoe around the heel collar. So gonna be testing this shoe out. I'm gonna aim for around about seven minutes 45 per mile, eight miles. I'm heading out right away. Let's get to it. So, ran a rain soaked nine miles today in the Nike React Infinity Run. So, some great initial impressions for me, certainly with this shoe. Despite that increase in weight, certainly a heavy shoe, even more than the Zoom Fly 3 there. Really doesn't feel like that on foot. Hints of the Asics Glide Ride but with a much more breathable upper. So that upper's super comfortable and the shoe felt appropriately 
locked in across the forefoot without being too restrictive. So as I set out in the pouring rain down the road, I saw a load of runners coming towards me with headlamps, all their high-vis stuff on, and it was some people from the Yeovil Town Road Running Club, so my club. So I, I asked the uh, run leader, you know, what sort of pace are you aiming for? And he said, eight minutes per mile. I thought, perfect. It's exactly what I wanted for the first initial run to test this shoe out. So I joined up with them for the run, uh, which clocked in for me around about nine miles. So I added on a tiny bit at the end just to get it up to that nine miles. So it was nine miles, seven minutes, 56 per mile, around about one hour, 11 minutes, with about 541 foot of elevation gain. I didn't experience any rubbing or discomfort at all in my first run in the shoe. Although I did opt for some slightly higher socks in the uh, lower ones, I could feel this kind of heel area here and it just kind of felt a bit odd to me. I didn't really like the feeling of it or the sensation of it. So I switched up to some higher socks and that alleviated that problem. Just didn't really like the sensation around my ankle. Um, I don't know what it was, whether it's this. Maybe it kind of felt like it was rubbing or something, but switched up the socks and it was a non-issue. So that increased amount of React foam in the sort of midfoot area here really does feel quite prominent on a midfoot strike. It feels both cushioned and responsive, but also quite propulsive. Certainly very similar in feeling to the ASICS Glide Ride that I've tested out very recently. I'd suggest on actually placing your foot into the shoe, to me it actually brought back memories of the 4% Flyknit, it really did. If you can see here actually, the shoe's actually fairly narrow in the midfoot area. I mean, it does expand out here in the forefoot, but it really did feel quite like putting on the old Vaporfly 4% Flyknits again. That toe box is fantastic in this new uh, React Infinity run. Really nice and roomy there. My toes felt like they could sort of splay out and they had lots of room to lounge around. That lofted fly knit over the toes felt sublime. It's super soft, super light. You really don't feel it at all over the top of your toes. I feel overall the upper really isn't too present at all here on foot. I think Nike have tried to minimize the upper weight so they can maximize the cushioning and add in that extra midsole material. So despite those very wet conditions, it's probably the ultimate test really to take a shoe like this with this type of material out in very wet conditions like that tonight. It was dark, it was dank, it was wet, it was, wasn't that cold, it was relatively mild. But they held up really well. A uh, little bit of water kind of got in, but got to be honest, within a few steps that seemed to have left the shoe, it seemed to have sort of expelled it out. Again, it reminded me actually of the Vaporfly 4% Flyknit. I remember doing a race, I think it may have been in March or April earlier this year in Sherbourne. It was a 10k race and again it was very, very wet conditions through some country lanes, some downhill and I can kind of recall those kind of same feelings on foot. Uh, where the water was getting into the shoe, but very quickly being expelled. It just seems to vent it really well, this material, Flyknit. Um, I just really do wish that they'd do the Flyknit version of the next percent again. I would definitely get one of those this time around. Gotta say, when I got home, my feet were pretty dry. The socks were pretty dry, so it did really well. Foot strike felt solid. Traction was really good, even on the leaf-covered, very wet pavements of Yeovil. So it's fall over here, it's autumn in the UK, and there's a ton of leaves everywhere. Literally, it seems like the last couple of weeks, every leaf is dropping down onto the pavement, and some of those quite slick pavements, you can feel a little bit unsure of your footing, perhaps. Um, certainly if you're wearing kind of work shoes or something like that, it can feel very slippery. Not a problem in these. That rubber traction was fantastic tonight. Uh, even going down some downhill sections, they were quite steep, at pace, hitting those leaves, hitting the pavement. It was very wet, and no problems with traction, no slipping whatsoever. So, very, very good initial impressions. I really do love the feel of this shoe on foot. It's a great looking pair of footwear. And one which is going to come in handy as I undertake more of those longer runs of 10 miles plus at those more sort of recovery type paces. Do look out for this one. It launches, as I said earlier, in January. So I'm gonna to continue to rack up some miles in it over the course of the next few weeks 
and I shall give you some updates as I go. If you've got any questions for me on the Nike React Infinity Run, please do put them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them as quickly as I can for you. Thank you for watching through to the end. Hope you've enjoyed the video with this new shoe, certainly unreleased. It's not gonna be out for a little while yet. I'm really glad to have it. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you share it with your running friends. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.